Breaking news, ladies and gentlemen, Mahogany is actually a real girl, and her and Ben met up in real life. But wait a minute, Socks, don't you find it strange that this girl looks completely different than how she's trying to present herself on Instagram? One could even say that they're on the wrong show and should be on Catfished instead of 90 Day. Let me know what you guys think about this in the comments. I think that it's incredibly insecure if you look like this to try and portray on the internet that you look like this. Now, before Father Wet Sock gets into dragging this holy couple, Mahogany and Ben, I'd like to first take accountability because I preach accountability and I'm a man that can admit when he's wrong. I said this girl wasn't real. It turns out that she's real. Is what I would say, except for the fact that she has a different face. So is she real? I mean, on a technicality, I'm still right. I just had arguably one of the worst days I've ever had climbing in league. So I think this is the perfect time for me to talk about Ben and Mahogany because I'm already in a bad mood. I had the worst jungler master gave of all time. I'm talking tower diving a Zoe when they had hourglass up. Like Ben's an old man from Michigan and Mahogany is a 22 year old from Peru. When Ben got to Peru to see the love of his life. She didn't pick him up from the airport, so he went to the hotel room, probably jerked off in the sink while crying his eyes out all night. Ben's childhood can be summed up by the fact that he grew up in a cult, and to this day, he is now 50-something, and he blames all the misfortunes of his life on the cult and his ex-wife. That is so fake. That is the <laughs> fakest picture I've ever seen in my whole entire life. That is so fake. It could be filtered. Despite receiving a plethora of good advice from his friends and family, Ben is adamant about the fact that him and Mahogany are star-spangled lovers, that it is the divine truth through God that they belong together. Ben used to be a preacher, so he has a bad habit of bringing God into every single conversation. So since Mahogany ghosted Ben when he touched down in Peru, he figured it'd be a good idea to go to a restaurant in her town. So he drives to her town, lets her know that he's there and he wants to meet up. And then an hour goes by, she doesn't show up until she finally does show up. Even though he's waiting an hour, he's just so excited to see this girl that he forgets about waiting. Cause it doesn't matter. Cause at the end of the day, she's real and he's over the moon about it. <laughs> oh my God. So Ben and Mahogany proceed to hug awkwardly and she's making these noises like, oh my God, ah, oh, like she's getting penetrated the entire time. I don't know why she's making noises like that. But at the same time, like, oh my God, this girl's English is really good. She sounds like she's from California. That is sus. Recently, Ben was exposed by my friend, the celeb talk guy for saying that his entire segment with Mahogany was fake and that he is an actor. Let's roll a clip of that. Posted or not posted, uh, put into uh, a men's magazine. And from there, a couple of producers got a hold of me and said, hey, how would you like to be in a reality TV show. And I was like, yeah, maybe. I mean, if it's fun. Bless your heart, Pastor Ben. I don't know why you're trying to save face now. It's not like exposing yourself makes us think that you're a cool dude. We still think you're cringe as Because of how good Mahogany's English is, I'm willing to bet that Ben got trolled by another dude pretending to be a girl. So TLC decided to hire this bilingual actress to play Mahogany. At least that's what I'm gathering from the situation. Let me know your conspiracy theories below after Pastor Ben has a mangasm while saying Mahogany's name. As they embrace, Ben rips a page out of Mike's book because he whispers in her ear, te amo. And it's just like all these simpy dudes on the show making us Americans look like cuck loser lames. I just can't even believe it. this season has just actually pissed me off. So obviously Mahogany doesn't say I love you back to Ben because she's known him for about two seconds. So she pushes him back and says, oh my gosh. While watching this, it feels like I'm watching a Mexican soap opera or a Turkish soap opera because it's quite clear that they are acting. No me sentía lista para venir. Y estaba a punto de no hacerlo. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, no, I'm getting secondhand embarrassment from the acting. At this point, I'm starting to think TLC is the real catfish. At least the David and Lana situation seemed legit. This one is a Hail Mary. And whoever directed this, in the words of Ben, y'all need Jesus. Also, for all the Spanish-speaking wet socks, we got a lot of y'all. I looked at the statistics. My Spanish is the worst. I cheated my way through Spanish class. That being said, she speaks like my teacher who was a Mexican-American. So let me know if this girl has any shred of a Peruvian accent when she's speaking her Spanish, because to me, it sounds like a native Spanish speaker in America. Mahogany informs the viewers that her parents are very skeptical of her relationship with Ben and what his true intentions are. But because he actually showed up to her city, she decided that she wanted to meet him in real life. I'm curious if this girl informed her parents that Ben already gave her a thousand dollar loan. Because if I was her dad and I knew that information, I'd be like, yo, don't be shy. Ask him for 10 G's. I need a new car. You made me wait. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. No, it's You wait me all too much time, maybe. <laughs> it's fine. Oh my gosh. Oh. Oh my gosh. Wow. Ah. She never video chatted me. 
I am so relieved that Mahogany is a woman. <laughs> I'm so happy she's not a dude. What an honest response from Ben. For those of you that forgot, Ben was previously talking to someone he thought was a girl. Turned out to be a dude in Africa. What an L. The bar for this dude is set so low. When you're so overjoyed by the fact that it's a real life girl that you forget about the fact that she has a different face. Oh shit, you got titties in the vagina? That's tight. And beautiful seeing her. It all comes back to me. All of the texts, all the spiritual connections. It was just such a unbelievably magical moment. I mean, all she did was show up an hour late to dinner. No need to make things sound more romantic than it is. Also, Ben uses meaningful terms like love and spiritual connection so loosely. I highly doubt you have a spiritual connection. And I can already tell that you and this girl are on different pages within the first minute of witnessing this conversation. Wow. Wow, I am in what? shock. I oh, really? I'm still in shock. Are you in shock? Yes, I'm in shock. Why? Because I've waited a long time to see you. I'm sorry. No, it's, it's fine. Huh, just like that, Ben's gonna forgive her for standing him up at the airport. Hmm. Also, the way this girl's switching so effortlessly between Spanish and English, and she's from a small town in Peru. How dumb does this network think we are? Like, I'm actually insulted. This does not feel like star-crossed lovers meeting for the first time as much as a father meeting up with his daughter. Lo siento por ayer. Me, me sentí mal. <laughs> no fue fácil no poder no. ir ayer no. al aeropuerto. Muy difícil. Muy difícil. It's okay. It's all okay. Thank you. No apologies for anything. All right, none of y'all are getting an Oscar for this performance. In what universe does a girl stand you up and you just sweep it under the rug like nothing happened? If I flew from Michigan to Peru and I got swamp ass the whole time, I'm not sleeping because I'm worried you're not gonna pick me up and you're not there and I'm getting embarrassed on national TV and I'm waiting out there in the parking lot for an hour, we got some words. We're not breaking brand having a peaceful negotiation. I am chewing you the fuck out. So right away, I do not believe this. This couple actually makes me miss David and Lana and I'm gonna hit y'all with some truth right now. I think Lana is more real than this girl. And that says a lot because Lana was fake. At least Lana had the decency to show us pictures of what she looked like 10 years ago. She didn't alter them like this girl does. So do you like me to call you Mahogany or Maogany? No, Maogany. Maogany? Yes. Maogany. It's okay. okay. I like that. <laughs> nah, I know this girl didn't just put an exotic twist on her name. Bitch, you are named after Wood. Sit down. Mulgooney like Yangooney. Where are my Bad Bunny fans at? This girl's so cap. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mulgooney, yeah, la, la. <laughs> So what do you think of the real life, Ben Hami? De algo que creí antes. Distinto, pero de la buena forma. Cuando conocí a Ben, él no, no sabía como las fotos tan musculosos. This girl's got so much nerve. Ben looks different, huh? You're like Mrs. Potato Head. You put on a different face today. You're calling Ben out for not looking as muscular in real life. You can't tell how cut he is because he has his shirt on. Also, I don't know one person that looks good after 24 hours of traveling. You're eating pretzels and water. You look like dog shit, feel like dog shit. Like anytime I go anywhere, I do not look my best when I get there. Anyways, Ben goes on to say, I believe her photos are a bit doctored. A bit doctored is how he said it. Like this girl didn't facetune the ever living shit out of these photos. If you look at this girl's Instagram, it's very clear that she spends at least 30 minutes working on every single photo to try and show the best side of her imaginary face or what she wants to look like. If you're like this girl and you highly care about what everybody thinks about you, you need to stop doing that because all it really shows is that you're mad and secure about that. And it only takes one person to write a mean comment to ruin your day, you shouldn't want to give somebody else that power over you. And a way to do that is to take that power and just accept what you look like. Like it doesn't matter if you want to get surgeries or you want to change something and it genuinely improves your mood, okay. But if you care that much about what everybody thinks about you, you are never going to be happy. Next thing you know, Pastor Ben talks about the aura of love and positivity and kindness that this girl constantly radiates. And I'm just looking around like, Bro, you maybe said five sentences to this girl. I actually find it more sus that he's not quizzing this girl on their conversations because Mohaguni has a different face. Um, ¿qué es un empanada? No has comido one. nunca una empanada. No, I've never had one. Oh, really? Yeah, what's, what's inside? <laughs> El pollo? I'm white. Unseasoned. A Caucasian. My grandma's is Cuban, so I've been had eating empanadas. They absolutely slap, finger licking good. And then Ben actually goes on to agree with my opinion. He says that they are very delicious. Por qué? Um, um, amas. Why do you love me? Why? Questioned. Oh, why do I love you? That's a good question off rip. Um, 
Line? <laughs> Benjamin, you've known this girl for about five minutes. You might want to wait until asking this question. Also, I hate to be the guy to point out the obvious, but if you were madly in godly love, like you communicated with the audience, you wouldn't need to seek this validation from this girl, and you guys would actually have inside jokes and things to talk about on camera. Yeah. Creo que tienes un corazón enorme. Aww. No, not, 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 it's not dad. sweet. It's not sweet. Okay. It's just true. Yeah. Me. You have a lot of beautiful soul, and I think you love God. And for me, it's really important. Mm -hmm. Mahogany goes on to say that she believes Ben thinks that she is in his life because it is what God intends. Plus, she thinks he's nice and attractive, so it's a big up for her. She never once brings up the $1,000 that Ben sent her. I would love to know where that money went. I'm assuming a PC setup because Warhammer 3 just came out and it is really good. Wait till the Chaos Dwarves come out. You guys aren't going to see me for a couple weeks. All of a sudden, Mohaguni says that she thinks that Ben has stronger feelings for her than she does for him. And he's taking this relationship more seriously than she is. Well, that's a bit yikes. Maybe you should tell Ben about this because he's been looking very foolish on the show. She goes on to say that they need time to figure out if she wants to pursue a serious relationship with him or not. Should I tell her, yo, I don't know if this girl read the script right because if you remember in the previous video, Ben and Mahogany exchanged text messages, her saying things like, I want to have your children. I want to grow old together. All these promises about them spending the rest of their life together. Yet all of a sudden in real life, in person, he's there and the switch up is so immediate that I'm just wondering if she read the script. I want to hug you first. What? I want to hug you first. Okay. And say goodbye because I'm not going to be able to see you until oh. tomorrow. But I love you so much. And I'm so glad that you came to see me. You are an amazing person. Oh, not the religious where's my hug guy. It's so cringe. Let me know what you guys think about this in the comments. I'd be so freaked out if a dude did this. Like from her body language, it's very clear. She already opened her car door. She wants to leave the situation. As a gentleman, you just gotta let that go. Don't pursue more intimacy when she very clearly doesn't wanna pursue that with you. Next thing you know, Ben hits this girl with an I love you, closes the door, and then watches her drive away like a creep. The next day. Last night, I finally got to meet my girlfriend Mahogany for the first time, and I can't wait to see her again today. So the next day after finally meeting the love of his life, Ben wants to take Mahogany to the beach and show her the gun show because this guy's an old fitness model. It's like I always say, if you got it, flaunt it. If you don't got it, flaunt it anyway. Way. who cares preparation for the beach day ben is putting on bronzer that his makeup artist got him which is sus in my opinion i get the struggle though ben because i don't know if you guys know this or not but i am also a caucasian what flavors do you like cran raz coconut so he's applying this bronzer and it turns out that there's sparkles in the bronzer that he didn't know about so he's like oh my god this is not the move i mean you already got the sparkles on your chest you might as well wear it and tell her that you're a vampire like edward cullen girls love that twilight series i'm more of an underworld fan myself after ben spends a good amount of time picking out his outfit he finally decides on a gray compression shirt and blue jeans. What's that? He's wearing the armored green shoes that don't match? Yeah, okay, this is a great idea. What about how you're seeing the love of your life? and you're putting in so much thought into what outfit you're gonna have for this beach day, and this is what you decide on, someone needs to dig up Joan Rivers because she would have a lot of things to say about this. It's inside out. <laughs> That's how nervous I am. <laughs> like, when I see her, I get crazy. I'm gonna say this in the nicest way possible. I think they're doing the most to show off Ben's physical assets because he's in good shape, but also due to the lack of personality that this guy has. We're about 11 episodes deep, y'all, and I haven't heard this guy tell one joke. I need more than just physical appearance. You know, that only goes so far to me because looks fade. I need something of substance there. I need a personality. At this point, I'm way past the point of giving a shit whether this segment is real or not. I just want to be entertained. After getting ready, Ben goes to a car that looks like a tricycle. It actually has three wheels. I've never seen that on a car before and takes this car to the beach to meet up with his one true love mahogany So whoever produced their segment thought it'd be a good idea to include some drone footage and in doing so Maybe it would make the segment seem less sus. You know be a tight idea Braxton Let's get drone footage of Ben dropping his backpack and running into mahogany's arms Meanwhile, she's gonna scream something like look at that view. It's beautiful And then Ben's gonna bring her close and say you're beautiful mahogany
Uh, then they run into each other's arms and embrace, and it's like, guys, I already forgot that the segment wasn't real. Like, are you kidding me? This is so magical. What a beautiful moment for this couple. Actually, now Ben and Mahogany are walking down the boardwalk, and Ben forgets his lines, I think, because he says that they're going to a restaurant up here. Benny boy, I don't see a restaurant in front of you. All that there is is a surfer, rocks, and a pole. But sometimes, you know, when you're acting, the lines don't match what you're seeing, and you need to rely on improv. You'll get there one day, little buddy. Ben says, while holding Mahogany at the end of the pier that he never wants to leave her side. And when he says this, this is what I imagine Mahogany is saying on the inside. <laughs> Next thing you know, the young lovers make their way to a restaurant with a great ocean view. Ben's a really boring eater, but he's feeling adventurous in Peru, so he tries ceviche for the first time, and he really loves it at first. Me encanta. I love it. Next thing you know, Ben says stuff like, oh, wow, this is spicy. It really sneaks up on you. I'm an Americano, you got to remember. So spicy for us is like ketchup. I hate when Americans go on the show and feel like they speak for all of us. Rosa, if you're going to really make it seem like we don't do spicy food in America, I put sriracha on everything I eat. Also, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, Ben, but if ketchup is spicy for you, you have a genetically inferior palate. My goal in coming out here is to get to know you and to see what is God's plan. What is God's plan? That's weird because Drake already rapped about what God's plan was. So I don't know what this dude's confused about. Here's a wild thought. Maybe God doesn't care about your love life. Sit with that. Let me know what you guys think about this in the comments. I've never brought God into a relationship. When I enter a relationship, it's between me and the person that I'm in a relationship with. As they're eating the really spicy food that's spicier than ketchup, Ben asked Mahogany what made her lose faith in their relationship, which resulted in her not picking him up from the airport. Something I don't like that Ben's doing is he's steering the conversation and wants to place blame for her second guessing their relationship on her father and her parents influence he's trying to convince her that it would be a good idea for him to meet up with her parents face to face and have a conversation with her father even if it's uncomfortable it needs to happen for their relationship to progress and for him i just feel like dude you're 52 years old and you don't think it's weird to meet a girl's parents after one day of meeting her in real life. You love your dad, and you should. But I think he influences you into thinking that maybe I come here for the wrong reason. So I think this whole thing has to do with me communicating with your dad. Like, hi there, what do you think's gonna happen? You think you're gonna meet the dad and explain to him that you guys are star-crossed lovers and God wills it, and the dad's just gonna be okay with it and be like, oh, here's my daughter. How would you feel if some creepy old dude flew to another country to date your daughter, Ben? So, uh, can I meet your parents tonight? Believe it or not, Mahogany actually agrees for Ben to meet her parents, which I didn't think that that would actually happen this quickly. Fast forward to later in the episode, Mahogany is giving Ben a tour of her place or the place that she says is where she lives. And it's becoming very clear that this is not her apartment because she has a surfboard that she knows nothing about. There is no photos of her anywhere or her family members anywhere in this place. Here's some games, like games for the night, you know? Nice. Love that surfboard. Who surfs here? Who surfs? <laughs> This is like, it's not, not. Oh, decoration? Not, yes. I just feel like this place is an Airbnb, which is understandable. I would not want this dude to know where I really live either. So I'm going to give her a pass for that. But that mixed in with giving her $1,000 and all the other shady shit that this girl has done. It's almost like if I was Ben, I would wish that, you know, I had someone pointing these things out to me. Perhaps a YouTube channel. Fast forward to later in the episode, the parents show up at Mahogany's house and Ben gets to meet them and he is very nervous. And here's my dad, Jose. Oh, gracias por tenerme. Oh man, no one wants to be in this room. It's so awkward. The fan band proceeds to sit down and talk about these star-crossed lovers. Mahogany's dad tells the audience his biggest concern is that his daughter is being courted by old men on the internet. And I had this look when this guy said this because I'm just like, does he not know? Oh my God. Does he not know that his daughter is talking to all these old dudes on the internet? Yikers, seems like Mahogany wasn't transparent with her parents about the situation. I'm sure daddy -O also doesn't know that his daughter's bio on Instagram is daughter of God, yet she shows a whole bunch of ass photos. Meanwhile, Ben the Creeper's liking all those photos and saying things like she has a deep appreciation for the Lord. Look at that butt. Desde que le conté a mis padres sobre Benjamin, ellos me han advertido la diferencia de edad que hay entre los dos y que además es muy difícil. Difícil confiar en una persona que conoces online. 
Oh, fuck you, Mahogany. It's hard to trust people on the internet because of people like you. Let's blow up your face right now. Guys, let's leave this face up. This is what this girl really looks like. So forget anything you see on Instagram. This is your true fate. You shouldn't preach about trust when you're too much of a coward to even show what you really look like on the internet. I am in love with their daughter. Oh, okay. Está enamorado de su hija. Desde hace tres meses. Tres meses, sí. Guys, I don't think Ben realizes how creepy this makes him look. Like, you're a 52-year-old man that is saying that he's in love with somebody that he met twice. Y'all went on two dates. The accelerated pace that this dude is setting in this relationship is so self-destructive in my opinion. If I'm the dad of this girl, I'm incredibly uncomfortable that this Mormon wannabe is over here trying to talk to me about how God is great and he loves my daughter. Trusty ass Ben trying to get my approval to pipe my daughter? Absolutely not. Me parece muy exagerado eso que en tres meses él esté enamorado, como dice, ¿no? Porque me surge alguna duda, dudas, ¿no? En la diferencia de edades es abismal. I don't know the dad, I don't like the dad, but I agree with him here. Ben has been delusional. Ben's trying to convince the parents that his relationship with their daughter isn't suspect. He even says that classic old dude line, well, she's mature for her age. That was probably the Epstein Island slogan. It's just a really creepy thing to say, in my opinion. Uh, también es madura. Sí, es bastante madura. A pesar de la edad que ella tiene, 22 años. 22? Oh, how the turns table. It turns out that Mahaguni has lied about her age. I never saw this coming in a million years. I can't believe that the girl that would Photoshop her own photos would lie to you, Ben. Ben confronts Mahogany about the fact that she lied to him about her age, and she says, Oh my God, I had no idea that you didn't know my age. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, the acting in this segment is rough. Mostly because Mahogany will do this thing where she speaks perfect English, and she's about to speak perfect English, but then remembers that she has to play a foreign girl from Peru, so she'll purpose like mess up the sentence midway and it's bad enough to the point where the audience can clearly tell that these people are acting for example when she says to Ben do you think I have more age like we heard you speak perfect English five seconds ago Ben is flabbergasted about this whole incident he says that he's shocked to learn that this house is not hers and also she's 22 not 24 there's a lot of things that don't add up about this girl another thing I found sus is the fact that Mahogany's parents look more like Jimena than Mahogany this segment's a mess it's a bad look and for these actors that are involved in this segment, y'all need to go back to whatever shitty local theater you're performing at because in the words of Illidan, you are not prepared. These are the big leads. This is national television. And you guys are actually discrediting all the other couples that go on the show. Well, guys, let me know what you think about this entire segment in the comments below. Comment below, subscribe, leave your bed, leave your bed. Follow me on Twitch and on Instagram right now.